Hey guys, GCC2224 viewing the Hasbro Star Wars 6 inch black series, Sand Trooper. Or figure number 3 if you really care about those numbers. Really, who does? Who cares about the numbers? But before we get on to this, let's take a brief look at the box. Really brief look, because I really don't care about boxes. Um, Sand Trooper. It's all black. It's a box, not a card. On the back, it's all nice. And it's embossed. Hooray for unboxing. So yeah, it's the box. Who really cares? Um, <laughs> but this figure is really, really awesome. Uh, putting this figure in a couple words, Hasbro finally did a Stormtrooper figure right by having Gentle Giant sculpt it. Yes, you heard me. Gentle Giant sculpted this. And if you want to see the kind of stuff Hasbro typically does with Stormtrooper helmets, here you go. That, that really doesn't look like a Stormtrooper helmet. And if you want to see what a company like Hallmark does with a Stormtrooper helmet, Look at that! I just knocked over the, the six inch figure, but look at this. This is a Hallmark ornament. And look at how great that helmet looks. This is a Hallmark ornament. Hasbro could not do this. This was Hasbro's attempt. They could not do that. Oh boy. But General Giant really hit it out of the ballpark on the sculpting here. And Hasbro did a pretty good job with um, putting the paint applications and such. The price tag isn't too great, but I'll get into the nitty gritty a bit here soon. First off, I want to give you a couple size comparisons to show you how this guy matches up with a couple other 6 inch figures. Um, here is with the TMNT Classics Leonardo. Leo's on a stand, so. Yeah, that's that. Here he is with the um, uh, Mattel Movie Masters Dark Knight Batman. You can see they're about the same height there. Here he is with the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Patriot. And with the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Urban Legends Spider-Man. And even though it's a 7-inch figure, here he is with Arkham Asylum Series 1 Batman. Yeah, totally in scale there. Um, but this figure is really, really great. Uh, really, really love how they made this figure. It's just, just awesome, really. Uh, getting into the accessories first. And this guy has a lot of customization opportunities. You can do a lot with this guy. He comes with three weapons. He comes with this E11 blaster pistol. And that's where the naming of these weapons ends, because I don't know the rest. But <laughs> I really like the E11. Really nice looking. Uh, he has his... Just going off a battlefront or something, like an EMP... Of course. Like an EMP launcher, a grenade launcher, something, some big rifle. Yeah, I really don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool looking. And uh, here he is with a more standardized Imperial rifle. One thing I like about Star Wars weapons is that they're not not all sci-fi. They really seem, you know, realistic and fit in with the Star Wars universe. So there are his weapons, and he holds all of them pretty nicely, I have to say. Um, he comes with a couple accessories that are on his person. It comes with his backpack, which when you remove his backpack, his ammo clip goes with it. Now, at first, when I open this figure up, I'm like, what? But, what this is, this is a customization option. You can have this ammo clip on him, or off him. So you can pop this off. At least it was able to pop off yesterday. Come on, get off, get off, remove yourself. Oh, good lord, is it like glued in there now? It can't be. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna have to jump cut here. There we go. It really didn't take that much time after I jump cutted. But as you can see, you can remove this, and um, you can just put the backpack back on. And now you have a Sand Trooper that doesn't have the ammo clip. That is really, really cool. I actually kind of like him without the ammo clip a bit more. I don't know. I just like seeing a bit more of his shoulder armor. So you can remove that, and you can pop off his head with ease. And you get his arm, and you take this off the ball joint, and you slide this off the arm. So, you can have just, um, you see these guys in the movie, just sand troopers that are just normal stormtroopers. This looks awesome. If this has anything to say about the upcoming stormtrooper figure in Wave 3, I am looking forward to that figure. Um, just getting a look at the helmet sculpt here. As you can see, Gentle Giant blew it out of the water with this helmet sculpt. I... I can't really think of a helmet sculpt that was done any better for a Stormtrooper on an action figure. I mean, of course, you know, replicas and such have done it, you know, have done it perfectly, but... I mean, look at this! Please, please try to tell me that did not pop off on the movie screen. And you can even, 
adjust it so he looks a bit more bucket helmeted. That is awesome. This is just absolutely awesome. You need to own this figure. You do. If there's any Black Series figure you need to get, you need to get this one. Just because it's a Saiyan Trooper and it's freaking awesome. So, getting his... Um, actually, uh, yeah, I'll just get the pauldron on because it's it actually hinders articulation. I want to point that out. But the articulation on this guy is pretty good. Um, he has a hinge on his neck so he can look all the way up. He can look all the way down. And he has a good ball joint too, so he can he can do this and such. Really, really great articulation. He even has more without the pauldron. Um, he doesn't have a lot of up and down motion in the shoulders, unfortunately. But you can rotate them a full 360, and he has a bicep swivel, a dual hinge at the elbow. He has kind of the Clone Wars Clone Trooper styled wrists where they're on a swivel, but they're also on a hinge. You know, you get this hinge like, how you doing, girl? And, um, please excuse that. <laughs> and you get, uh, another hinge like, yeah, ye boy, yeah, I'm pointed at you, boy. Um, <laughs> please excuse that, too. Um. Uh, he has a really good ankle rocker. Really good. Uh, his hips are probably, his legs are probably where I don't like the articulation the most. He has a good ball joint at, th at the uh, hip there. And this is how far they can go. The legs. I don't really like that. You can move the uh, swivel there on the thigh to make him go um, completely forward, but now the leg bends this way. And this is where I like a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure more because they still have uh, swivels at the knees. Well, this guy doesn't. He, just have a, he just has a dual hinge at the knee, but he really does have a great ankle rocker on his foot. You can see how he kind of has that styled ankle where it can rock and it has full forward and backward motion. And they really kind of did a good thing here. I really don't... I mean, who uses this? Who uses this? What I like is this. This allows for good positions where they're stepping forward, where they're running. It really, really gives them a lot more posing options. And this figure can really pose. He can really pose. Um, just yesterday I had him uh, running, uh, and he was only on one foot. Uh, no stand needed. But that's where I want to make a gripe. This guy should have had a stand. He really should have had a stand for his price point of $20. I mean, Leonardo was $20. And he came with a stand, a pretty big stand, a customized character stand. This guy came with nothing. Sure, he came with more accessories, but he really doesn't have as much plastic as Leonardo, it feels. Really, I mean, General Giant is where they, is where, you know, this figure is at. General Giant won the day on this. And I know people are saying, oh, it was Hasbro, Hasbro made this figure. Hasbro made this figure. Well, you know what? Gentle Giant sculpted it. And honestly, the articulation is no different than a Marvel Legends. They just gave the Marvel Legends articulation, and all in all, who really cares about the Marvel Legends articulation? Uh, <laughs> actually, I like the Marvel Legends articulation, but that's all they can really offer on this line, just articulation that they've already used before. You know, R2-D2, Marvel Legends. You know, they just don't have anything original up their sleeves anymore. They even have to have another company sculpt the majority of this line for them. I mean, when you look at this figure, do you think this is a Hasbro product? Or do you think this has got to be from a different company? I think the second one. This is a Hasbro product. This. That beautiful helmet. Yeah. Bug-eyed helmet. Yeah, but... This, this really, you can just tell, it screams, this isn't Hasbro. I mean, toy, and Hasbro's good at what they do, and what they do, especially with this line, is get someone else to do their work for them. <laughs> I mean, they really, really just should have done something a bit more with this than just have someone else sculpt it. I, I want to see what Hasbro can do, but yet I don't want to, because Hasbro just, you know, if they got someone else to sculpt this, then... I don't want to see what they can do, because I already know what they can do, and I don't like it. But, really guys, that's it with this review, uh, kind of a rant at the end. But overall, I recommend this figure. Gentle Giant did a really great job on this. And I really have to give props to the people that sculpted this figure. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is on par with NECA in the sculpting. 
and on par with uh, DC collectibles on the sculpting. It is really, really great. Uh, and I know it's not really on to par with NECA with the, you know, the quality of it. But it's it's actually pretty there. It is pretty much there. With the other ones, I could say they could use a bit more paint. But this this is pretty much on the NECA par. And, you know, I know NECA is the thing now, so hearing that will probably sell this figure for a lot of people. Uh, so really, I guess that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review on the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series Wave 1 Sand Trooper. That's really a mouthful. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. And later today, um, I'll be on RF Biker Scout's live stream. So, right after I'll be uploading this, a couple hours after, I will be on that live stream. And if you missed it, you can still go on RF Biker Scout's channel and watch the recording. So, I really guess that is it, guys. Have a good day, and as always, may the Force be with you. Bye.